hot. <laughs> Maybe we should film it right now, baby. <laughs> Pick that up, do that again. Hi, hello. My name is Bill. Oh, I'm Scott. And we are going to do our 2015 year in review. We've never filmed a serious video together. Not that this one's going to be serious. It's so serious. But we have some questions we're going to answer. It doesn't have to be yours. I'm no. gonna say that. Okay. But I think it's getting married to Jolly. Really? I just brought somebody really wonderful into my life. And I'm so happy you're my wife. Aww. You're so sweet, baby. Yeah. Score! <laughs> well, for sure. That's the best thing that I accomplished this year, too. Oh, it doesn't have to be yours. No, it is. I mean, <laughs> what do you mean? So we got married on October 3rd, 2015. And so that was really great to be able to share that with our friends and family and proclaim our love to the world. It was so fun. It's a cool small ceremony, well planned out. I had no idea what was going on but Jale knew it all and it went so smoothly. It was beautiful and we got to share with our friends and family and really gather a great community to support us throughout our marriage. So yeah. I'm looking forward to the rest of my life and into eternity and beyond because that's what I believe. You found a really great apartment. I mean, that's hard to do in this city. We found a wonderful spot where right next to the water, we're in between two parks, we're right on one of those parks. Like with a big forest, a huge playground. It's great, even for adults. <laughs> yeah. So before we were living in the university district and it was really hard because, I don't know, it was just, the apartment was really small. We were right next to a construction site. College students. Yeah, and the college students were allowed and it was just really rough living there and Scott had to commute a lot for work. It was convenient for me at the time because I worked very close, but got a new position which was really great and so we just needed to be further south and it's been one really wonderful living in a one bedroom apartment. Now we don't have to worry about, you know, sleeping in the same room as our couch and being able to have people over and even just being able to have separate spaces for each other, you know, I think that's been really beneficial for our own well beings. Oh yeah, certainly a low point. Uh, my grandfather died. He wasn't able to attend our wedding, but uh, he died. A couple a of weeks. Uh, yeah, about two weeks after after we got married. He just he had been going downhill since last Christmas, uh, which is quite a quite a long time actually. He was um, 93. 93 years old, and he finally passed away. Mm -hmm. And so that was a hard time. That was a hard time for for my family, for my mom. That yeah. was that was one of the worst things that happened this year. Well, I want to be a little bit more financially responsible. Me too. You know? so. I think I bought too many clothes this past year. Would you agree? Absolutely. <laughs> and every year prior. <laughs> yeah, just being more financially responsible. I think it was a lot of partying, a lot of partying. Yeah, we, we got party yeah, we got down in 2015. Did we? we? Got with our friends, we got to what party, friends? host a bunch of stuff. We got we, went we to traveled LA and all over the world. Exactly. Uh, we traveled all over the, the world. The Morales. That's right. That's we right. We went to <clears throat> Columbus. That's right. That's the world. LA to Columbus. That's the world. So, I hiked Mount Si. Ooh, eight yeah. Eight miles. Over that's eight a, miles. That's another thing I want to eliminate: is not telling Jale enough information to have her prepared to hike eight miles. Yeah, so making sure he tells me yeah. exactly how long we're gonna be gone. Communicate What better. I need, I was wearing jeans and a tight tank top so I know like what I need to do, what I need to wear. So I she should have really bought some better clothes to uh, be prepared, you know, <laughs> she, with all the clothes she bought. If you could describe 2015 in three words, how would you describe it? Fast, fun, a unique. This has been a year unlike any other. I've gotten married, my someone very close to me has passed away, and let me within the span of just a few months, I've bought a new car, um, I've moved into my own apartment, you know, like fully fledged apartment. I've had multiple different positions. I've had more jobs in this year than I have had my entire life. Um, so it's been a really unique. Year. This year has been a big blessing because I 
was able to get a new position within the same organization, and so that was a really big deal for me. And since then, since I've had that position, I've been really happy, and it's just been um, really beneficial for my own professional career because I've been able to use the skills that I have in a new way, and I really love that. Um, I'd say that this year has been really meaningful, of course. Um, he proposed in May. We got married in October. We created our first puzzle together. Oh yeah, that was such a cool puzzle. <coughs> I colored this picture. <laughs> oh, oh, we're not talking about crib, but I'm just trying to tell him a story about what we did for like <laughs> two days straight. She just drew and I just did a puzzle. It was awesome. Now I, we're all about making do do DIY stuff. So we made yeah. our own star for our tree. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, we made soap for for Christmas. We made soap, and we also we just like have been making collages with photos. I made we made um my this is not it. Oh yeah, but but we yeah. made flower crowns for the wedding. Yeah, for, so for you wear that crown. Yeah, yeah. we I made mean, it together. And the soap really wasn't a suggestion. It was honestly we're trying to be crafty. <laughs> Right, we just love to create things. We want to do more of that. Shadow box. Yep, so there's my bouquet and some pictures of us, so it's really cute. Huh. You know, I mean, why don't we do one for each other? Well, I was just thinking that. Okay. I think you deserve a pat on the back for thinking like like that, you know, being so, being so, you know, just, just really think, considerate and thinking of others. I can give you a pat on the back. Next question. And you didn't do it for me? Oh no! No, Pat on the back first got for sure has been cleaning. <laughs> you want me to get right there, baby? Take this one. Yeah. <laughs> for him, it's been taking care of our home. He loves to clean and make sure things are tidy, and I do not. And so he is very vigilant about vacuuming and all of those necessary things. And he holds me accountable as well. So you deserve a pat on the back. Some people say that I'm a little too much of a neat freak, but they wouldn't realize that the camel lens is dirty. Maybe. <laughs> Alright, well, we're gonna continue. So Star Wars Episode 7 was a profound letdown. I think oh, that affected no, my time. Uh, no, and the, and good, in a good way, baby. Oh, okay. Um, so many books this past year, I can't oh, remember. No, no. What did, what did, but Dope was really cool. Was oh, Dope was such a good Dope movie. Dope was such a good movie. What else was a good movie that, like, that profoundly affected us? I don't know. It's hard to remember the whole year when it's December. I like that, that book, um, Between the World and Me by, by Coates. That was really good. That was a very good book. And we, we both just blew through that. Oh, Just Mercy. I love Just Mercy. By Brian Stevenson. Brian Stevenson, Just Mercy. That was an amazing book. Talked about the oh, justice yeah. system. Oh, yeah. It's a lawyer, civil so rights lawyer. And uh, yeah, that was great. That was a very good book, and it really was very meaningful in a way that called to people and, and made them call to action. It really gave a call to action for people. So yeah. I don't know what we're going to do about that, but at least we're more aware. Of course, always uh, help me get through the year, Clueless, um, <laughs> Howl's Moving Castle, Spirited Away, you got that for me for Christmas. So those were, those, yeah, those were actually are very those cool are like, because we just got those at the end of last year yeah. and we watched them on repeat, so. Yeah. I love this book bag I got, especially because it has a space for my laptop and like convenient little pockets. And it's a really great message. It says, because of them we can, then it has all of these uh, black leaders on it. So I really love this bag. And I use it almost every day. What about you? So these headphones, I think these are one of the greatest purchases I've made. Uh, it was right at the beginning of the year, because I got some gift card. Uh, Jale was like, you know what we should use that for? Headphones. And she uses them all the time. Yeah. So I think that was a really good purchase. There, And they have a microphone, so I can talk on the phone too. What was the best gift you received? Oh, a husband. <laughs> Glad I didn't get one of those. Um, <laughs> I would have taken it back. What's the best gift you received? What about the, the drum? That was the best gift in the whole year? In the whole year? Oh, 
A Joan's wife. really awesome. Thanks, okay. Dad. A wife? No, come on, like a like a material gift. Think material. You Why material? Oh, okay. Why are you gonna be so materialistic? What? I don't know. I don't know. I like the drum. The okay, we good. got a cool drum from Dad. Yeah, only a only my own business. We really got into some serious discussion about that. Mm -hmm. I think mostly a strong family laid the foundation for that. Uh-huh. And I like Very that. True. That's that's a big goal of mine is to have a strong family that's diverse and diverse how baby? and very uh, uh, international. Diverse as in they have a diverse range of experiences. So we're really we're really working on being broad and the different foundations and principles that we need to build a family and do it the right way the first time. So. Who is your number one go-to person that you can always rely on besides each other? Oh, dang! Um. For me, my number one go-to, you know who you are. Hey, what's up, girl? <laughs> Lizzie, I just got the phone with you a couple hours ago. It's my number one go-to. I can always call her and be like, Liz, guess what? Or Liz, this is what happened. I know who your answer is. What's my answer? Your mom. Yeah, yeah. I can do my mom because she's, uh, I can always call her. You can always ask her opinion and her advice. The most important lesson I learned in 2015 is to oh, is to acknowledge what somebody else is saying. No matter what the circumstance, is to acknowledge what they're saying in a way that makes sense to them. So to just make sure that you hear them, you know. Because that really helps with the conversation, you know, when somebody's pissed at you. Or, you know, you gotta go through, no, it's not for me, it's for you and like everybody else I've talked to. I realize when I can repeat something back to somebody, you know, in different words, but that they understand I've been listening to them, it really helps. And so. we learned that in marriage counseling. Yeah, it's, it, it, was, it was solidified in marriage counseling. I think this whole year I've been using that and to great success in my work and my personal life. I think for me is you have to apologize. I'm not one to apologize ever. And so it's been a hard lesson to learn that you actually have to say sorry sometimes. Da -da 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 sorry. What song? What song was that? If someone wrote a book about your life in 2015, what kind of genre would it be? A comedy, a love story, a drama, a film, or something else? It'd be more like an article in People magazine. Okay, you read too much. Like kind of, kind of lame. Maybe National Enquirer, sort of like. <laughs> and then at the end, they made a video. Now they're making a video. They got abducted by aliens. <laughs> I think for me, it would be like a emo movie. Like a emo movie. Yeah, or like Donnie Darko, some kind of like dark movie. Definitely, I love love stories. It would be clueless. I mean, come on. My life is like clueless, besides the fact that Scott is not my ex stepbrother. And I oh. don't live in a mansion. Oh. And my father's not a lawyer. <laughs> oh. But I mean, I drive a cute car and I wear cute All clothes. Tragedies. And I have a best, best friend named Dion. Okay, I don't. But anyway, it would totally be like clueless, but only like. Cool. Instead of a valley girl, I would be like this cool black Persian girl and we'd be like walking the streets of Seattle. Okay, I'd have to say it would be either a romantic comedy. This is a movie or a book genre, it doesn't matter. Is, is that a genre of book? Yeah, romantic, of course. Or or a a historical fiction. Historical fiction. <laughs> I love historical fiction, my favorite to read. I wanna see, explore, and discover new countries. Yes. That's what I wanna do. And I want to capture them on film. Aha! Uh -huh. That's what I want to do. Okay. What's your number one goal for 2016? <clears throat> My number one goal for 2016 is... My number one goal for 2016 is to be a good husband <gasps> and uh, a good brother <gasps> and a good son. That's so nice. And a good relative. It's just to be wow. to be to be better for everybody else. You know, and to be a good husband I think is is my focus at this point. Because 
Mm -hmm. I'm new at this, and, and there's always room to improve. I don't know, see, I'm trying to just like go with the flow. Do I really need a goal? Do I have to have a goal? Why can't I just like let go, let God? I just want God to guide me with my life. My goal is to not hold back, you know, just trust in God, trust that things will just, will happen. And if I can just like have faith and be strong in that and just go with the flow. Cause I feel like a lot of times I'm such a planner. Like setting goals is a hindrance sometimes for me because I'm just like, okay, well that's my goal. I need to accomplish it. What steps do I need to take to accomplish it? But really, if I just like let go and just every day really meditate my heart and my mind and doing what I know is right, then those goals will appear and I will accomplish the things I want to accomplish. So, yeah. And you'll get it, baby. Just stay true to yourself. Uh, quoting Clueless, to thy own self be true. And quoting Clueless, way harsh time. <laughs> All right, so that was our year in review. Thank you so much for watching from the Sadrabi Lozanos. Anything else you want to say, my dear husband? Um, I want to say be good, be prosperous. Yes. We wish you a wonderful and productive and uh, safe. A safe and and financially lucrative new year. Yes. And full of joy. Yes. And that's it. That's it. So let us know if you want us to keep making videos. We can. Sure. Why not? We like doing it. This is our first video we made really together. Yeah. Seriously. It's fun. Yeah. So yeah. So stay tuned. Bye. Peace.